Did you always have a passion for singing and performing? You made the point that you didn't come from what we might think of as a traditional operatic background. No, it's true. I, I, I didn't wake up one morning with this passion all of a sudden that I wanted to be an opera singer. It's something that you have to discover, you know. Um, I was saying earlier on today that um, how I got into singing and how I wanted to achieve my goal was with, was with a belief rather than a passion. And then the passion fed the belief that I would succeed. So it was, really, it, it was that way around, really. The, the two feed, feed each other. Did, coming from a non-traditional operatic background, did it mean you had to have that extra bit of passion to get you into it? I think so, yeah. Passion, drive, um, enthusiasm, you know, whatever you want to call it. But passion is something that uh, every performer has to have to, to succeed in this profession. Really. Do you need it inside you? Is it part of you or can you manufacture a passion? No, I think it has to be Not inside convincingly. you. Not convincingly. <laughs> I think it definitely has to be inside you because um, it has to be truthful. And a passion, if it's inside you, it has to be truthful. Is passion a good thing in a politician? Indeed necessary, I would say. Yeah. Uh, but, but I think Alvi puts his finger on it. It's got to convince and it's got to be truthful. Uh, uh, I mean, the problem with the clip we just saw of David Cameron is you can't keep saying I'm passionate about this. Yeah, th that's. Uh, I, I, th I mean, that doesn't that's... necessarily convince. And Pe people have to draw their own conclusions about and whether you're passionate. Increasingly, politicians do use this phrase. Uh, I started a couple of years ago. I am passionate about this. I'm passionate about that. And I always feel the more they use that, that they have to tell us, it means actually that we're not convinced and they know we're not convinced. <laughs> They're convincing mm. themselves in a way, yes, exactly. you know, more, than, more than anything. Because if they are, pa if somebody's passionate about something... Can I mention Margaret Thatcher again? I mean, my, yes, no one doubted that Margaret <laughs> Thatcher was passionate, but I don't suppose she ever used the word at all. Exactly. If you have to tell somebody you're passionate, then you're not convincing. Um, no, and I, I agree with Michael incidentally that I think lots of the politicians that I know really are passionate. I mean, I suppose I would make the slightly partisan point that I think if you're a Labour politician, your passion is actually to change the world because you want to see things differently. You haven't come into politics to keep things as they are. If you are a conservative by definition i think you're more happy with the status quo not, not to all. say there are not passionate tories yeah. but we want you know, to change everything <laughs> if you're a labor politician you want to change things definitely for the better because you think there are things wrong that you want to put right you can't help looking at polit some politicians and doubting their passion yeah i think i think a lot of politicians make very good actors you know they, <laughs> if they could sing they'd be they're great opera actors, singers <laughs> but, um, but i think i think really there's a there's a huge um element of um, the politicians convincing themselves that they are right on their policies and on the, 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 their policies will uh, help the country, um, whether that's a passion. But I, I in, in, in Alfie's world, I don't know whether you'd agree with this, but um, opera singers didn't have to be actors, but today they do. Yeah. We have to believe in your passion. It's no yeah. good just having a good voice now. You've really got to convince us. And passion covers a lot of uh, emotions. It's not just love. It's not just being happy. It's anger. No, and not everything. just being completely yeah. demonstrative either. Exactly. It can be low key exactly. yeah, uh, yeah. as well. But when, when David Cameron this week had to tell us he was passionate about the big society, you knew he was in trouble with the big <laughs> society. I'm afraid so. <laughs> <I'm just about. laughs> you will agree with that. Uh, I will, yes. Yeah. Can you, you see, Gordon Brown used to, these stories about mobile phones flying through the office room and stapling guns and so on, and he used to blame, uh, it's, I, it's just because I'm passionate. Yeah. Did you buy that? Um, I do, actually. I mean, Gordon yeah. Brown... Gordon Not Brown as honest as he is. <laughs> Gordon Brown was incredibly passionate and uh, committed politician. Actually, he gives a bit of a lie to Alfie's point about politicians being actors. The point is that some people can portray that passion in public. And part of Gordon's problem, I think, is although he was extremely passionate, uh, a bit like the Ian Duncan Smith, you know, turning up the volume speech, that some people, when they try and look passionate, they just look a bit... Do, do you not think that the throwing of mobile phones is more frustration than passion? Yes, exactly. I, I never saw it throwing mobile phones. Oh, anger. Or yeah. anger yeah. Exactly. I think grumpiness not the same is... as passion. Exactly, yeah. yeah. What are you up to, Alfie? Well, I'm passionate about selling millions of albums, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the shop. Does that mean they're not me. selling then? Oh, they are. They are <laughs> selling very well. <laughs> and I, I'm going on tour at the end of the year um, 
But before that, I'm, I'm uh, back into um, Les Miserables in the West End uh, performing Jean Valjean. So, yeah, a lot, a lot going well, on. You